it is very difficult to diagnose a man my age with autism and Asperger's syndrome. And, I, and I've been researching it online a lot and we have tried, but seemingly to, to no avail. Meet Ted. Ted is highly intelligent, a tenacious learner and consummate gentleman. He interacts with people differently than most of us do. Behind every person we, we assist, there's a whole life. <laughs> this is Bruce. Bruce is a Vincentian with many gifts, one of which he's a good listener, especially with neighbors. We'll get back to Bruce in a minute. Now, Ted is his own person. He has never followed the norm, and this has caused him to be bullied throughout most of his life. I was ostracized in high school because I didn't want to live the drug lifestyle. I was bullied, ostracized, I was made fun of. They didn't want to know the real Ted. They just had preconceived ideas about who I was as a person. They about 10 years ago, things got worse for Ted. At that time, I had absolutely no hope whatsoever. I had no job. But when I had my car repossessed about 10 years ago, I think when my problems really started to, to escalate because I'm out there. And when, and when I'm out there as far as walking like to, to shopping or walking to my job or whatever, I'm more susceptible to, to, to this type of bullying because they see me out. It's like, in my mind, I feel like they didn't like the fact that I was even around. Two of Ted's high school teachers noticed his plight and started meeting with them, trying to help. Whenever I saw him, I'd give him a ride and, um, you know, Mary Ryan um, took a great interest in him and would uh, spend hours talking to him. Bruce met Ted at a Vincentian breakfast. So I came to the breakfast one morning and uh, he had these big bags and I uh, got talking to him and I said, where do you live? And he said, such and such a place. And I said, do you have a car? And he said, no. I said, well, how are you going to get there? Because it's at least six or seven miles, you know, and he's got these enormous bags. He said, oh, I walk. So I said, I'll offer you a ride home, but you know, using the standard of St. Vincent de Paul, I took another person with me because we have, we have protocols that we always follow. And I was amazed at the distance. So um, that's kind of how we st uh, started striking up a friendship. And uh, then I saw where we lived and I said, you know, I think Ted might be somebody I want to get to know and reach out to. And if he wants some help from St. Vincent de Paul, that's his business, but uh, I, I think we could help this gentleman. Bruce joined Evelyn and Mary's team to help Ted. Ted warmly refers to the group as his corporation. And sometimes we have meetings at Evelyn's house when we have a big manager. Yeah, we have we have kind of team here, don't yes, we? Yes, we have, we have a, co a corporate little corporation that we have formed. And my two board of directors are Evelyn, Ms. Carpenter, and my aforementioned teacher, Mary Ryan. The, these two, the two ladies are my former teachers from Charaho. I call them my, my board of directors. And Bruce has joined joined my corporation recently, and he's also, I originally I had him as a liaison, helping me with all the kinds of um, my medical and everything else, but now Bruce is now a member of my staff. Thank you. <laughs> you got a raise. Yeah. <laughs> no raise, just a, just a title. Right. right. <laughs> Bruce has been so instrumental in helping Ted with his appointments and transportation with the lawyer, with the counselor, and uh, social security, and just talking to him and listening to him. So how is Ted doing now? I feel better now than I did back then. A hundred times better. I'm trying to get myself back on my own two feet, basically. I think the real me is starting to come out. It's very satisfying to see the, the Ted that we see now. Uh, he's... Um, so much more self-confident and hopeful. Ted's taught me he has so many interests, he has so many positive points, and I say, you know, a lot of the people I don't know very well are Ted's in disguise. So he's opened up that idea that uh, we as Vincentians, unfortunately, get to know too little about some of the great people we help.